everybody, welcome back to the Make Code Arcade live stream. My name is Vivian at Live Cheerful on the Make Code forums. And I'm. Richard. Why don't I get music for my intro? <laughs> what the heck? Because you're not holding the music thing, Vivian. Well, I can't even sing music for myself because I'm talking. This is, this is unjust and unfair. Anyway, um, today we're making a marching band simulator. This is my idea. Um, yeah, this is why Vivian requested that I bring out the music thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's th thematic. So my plan is we'll make like, okay, we'll simulate the person who makes all the marching band coordinates. So they have like all the charts and you have the people in the formations. So I thought we'll have like little people and we'll like drag and drop them onto the map. And then we'll have like different frames at the bottom. And we can like add a new frame to coordinate a new position and the little people will like move to it. Um, which is a, it's a big, it's a big thing to swallow. We'll see if it, <laughs> if we can do it in one stream. But first off, gotta make, gotta make the marching band field. So I think we can do it. Anyway, I'm gonna start the music. I'm gonna start okay. us off with March in a minor chord. <gasps> That's genius. And then ready? Yeah. Whoops, I hit the That's... wrong button. Okay, I'm like. <laughs> Okay, ready now? Yeah. very good looking field. I, real, I don't think I ever realized that our green is just perfect field color. Thank you. Yeah, I wanted to make it every five pixels because, you know, to represent a yard. But I'm um, counting is hard. Okay, counting one, is hard. Two, three, four, five. Okay, there. And then I will grab this. So I don't have to count anymore. <laughs> Yay. How's everybody's weekends? In chat? Richard, you have to keep an eye on chat for me and tell me anything exciting that happens because I like I like reading chat. I'm looking at the chat. My music got compared to some sort of scammer hotline that you call, which um, thank you very much, but my music <laughs> is wonderful, so don't even worry about it. Um, oh, in chat. Uh, have you guys done marching band? <laughs> I did marching band. It was um, it was a time. It was fun. Okay. Should I add See, yard? I hmm. Another question, real quick, which is how can you make a character select menu? Um, there's a few ways to do that, but the easiest way I would say is if you go to um, the story extension, there's like a way to do choices, show choices. Um. And um, you can use that to show all the different character choices and then choose something with that. So check out the story extension. It's in the extension dialog. Richard, do you think I should do this for every other one? Because you only really mark the 10 yard lines. Yeah, that looks pretty fancy, I gotta say. Okay, I'll do this. This game, you know, is a little bit about, you know, how it works and the fact that it will work, but mostly it's about how it looks. <laughs> So we got to Yeah, this looks much better cuz it's like it's got less going on, you know, and I think you'll be able to see the marchers better. Yeah, the other one made my my my, my head hurt. Mm -hmm. And this way, you know, for a V2, if we have more production budget, we could add like numbers to the field so they know what 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 yard they're at. We have the highest production budget. We have live music. True. From a, from a Japanese synthesizer from the 80s. The 80s were so long ago, so you know it's a it's a finely aged synthesizer. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> Richard, did your school have a marching band? Um. Also, happy birthday, Dobbins. Tomorrow's uh, his birthday, right? Happy birthday tomorrow, Dobbins. Okay. Don't make me. <laughs> Whew, thought I missed it. Um. I, my, my school did have a marching band, but I was not in it. My brother was. He played um, drums. Ooh, which which one? Um, I think he played the big one. The 
bass drum. Yeah. Nice, nice. I started off on bass drum for two years, and then I moved to tenors, and then I did snare. He really liked it. I think they went to competitions and stuff too, and did pretty Ooh. okay. I don't know. I feel like we we'd have <laughs> we'd have like you know better, better, better things to talk about <laughs> if both of us did marching band. But somebody was deprived of the opportunity. All right. I think we should switch up the switch up the All rhythm. Right. I think I'm gonna go to a um a waltz. Ooh, sure, sure. Cause, Second movement. Yeah, because you know, marching band isn't just about marching; it's also kind of about dancing. Of course. Kind of, yeah. In that there's timing and formations and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Richard, can you make up lyrics for this song as it goes? Marching, marching, into a waltz. We're marching. That's all I got, cause I was put on the spot by <laughs> Vivian. <laughs> yup, yup, yup. Okay, so we're gonna have one marcher here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna make a bunch of them. Um, <laughs> how many am I gonna make? Let's oh, wait. Let's set some flags on it first. Um. All right, someone called my, my song epic. Thank you very much. It was. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen um Pitch Perfect? Um, yes, I have. Yeah, there's a bit where like the rapper goes. Nah, you know? Um, it was a long time ago. Oh, sure, 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 sure. Well, anyway, that's what this makes me think of. Okay, starting X positions, and then we're gonna line them up all at the top. And then we'll also do a starting Y position. Starting Y positions. Um, chat, also let me know like volume levels if it's okay, because I don't mind the music, but if, if it's um, <laughs> bad. If it's distracting, I can stop, but. Yeah, um, let us know. I do kind of like holding this thing like a baby. <laughs> so. is, is that how you hold babies upwards so they can see the world? Yeah. Oh, sure, sure, sure. How do you hold babies upside down? Um, They got to look at the sky. <laughs> Um, so they, they know how big the world is and how insignificant we are. Anyway, we're gonna scoot them over by like four every time. <laughs> Excellent, sound is great. <gasps> Look at them all lined up, how cute. They're so cute and they're <laughs> kind of like nutcrackers too. Oh yes, we can do, oh yeah, we have to decide the theme. Oh yeah, Richard, we gotta decide the theme of our marching band show. You know, Market like shows usually have themes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like every year, we would do like a different like set of music. So our marching band was kind of fancy, and they would do like only like classical music things. So my senior year, we did like Firebird, and then our first year, we did this random director, and then we did Aaron Copeland, and we did another one. I can't remember. Anyway, themes. So we got to think of a theme. But I shouldn't know, it be up to the the designer though what their theme is. No, 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 it's the marching band director who decides the theme. I'm the marching band. But you are march. the director, right? Because they choose the formations. No, 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 the march choreographer. I don't think that's the right word, but the choreographer makes like all the the formations, you know? We had a different person who did that. Okay. But I don't, I don't know if that was just our band tango. or not. Hmm? Switching to tango. Okay. okay. How is oh this my God. tango? <laughs> They're so cute. Okay, let's make it by... Six. Okay, I do not like tango. Switching to swing. I'm very. Oh, get... <laughs> Sorry. So I can get behind this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then let's make some sprites at the bottom. We're just gonna, you know, sketch it all out right now, and then we're gonna make the bottom, and it's gonna be um thumbnail. So I want all the bottom things to be like the frames. And so our field is 160 by 80. So what's like the smallest version that we could have? Can we divide it by five? 
What's 160 divided? Yeah, I think that works. What is that? 160, 160 divided. divided by 5? Is that 40? <laughs> no. Um, it's 40 times 4 is 160 divided by 5. <laughs> Why can't I do math? I can't do math while music's playing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I'll solve this um, by I'll have the sprite. 30, it's 32. Thank you. 32. And then 80 divided by 5 is 12. No, that's 60. Okay, 60. 16! It's 16! I did that yep. in my head. <laughs> okay, we'll make it 32 plus like some padding. So 32 plus 234 and then 18. I'll fill this in and we'll place it at the bottom just to like see how it sees. I feel like placing the thumbnails are gonna be <laughs> a, a challenge in and of themselves. Oh, Sorry, I missed it. What are the thumbnails for? It's gonna represent like each stage of the marching band oh, coordinates. Yeah, so it's basically like the frames. Yes, the frames. Yep, yep, the frames. And so we got to think of the different states. So we'll have like a edit thumbnail state, and then we'll have no, we'll have thumbnail state. We'll have a mar move marcher state. We'll have a play show state. Yeah, 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 yeah. So first off, I'm just gonna have a hand and it's gonna be able to move all the marchers. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is gonna be like hand. And it's gonna be a hand pointing downwards. Thumbnails, we won't fail to do thumbnails. We will sail past these thumbnails. Kale. Fail, pale, thumbnail. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's like, you think we'd pale in the face of making thumbnails, but don't wail. We won't fail. We're going to have so many thumbnails. <laughs> You're much better at this than I am. I love rhyming. <laughs> That's true. All past poetry that has happened on this stream has been from Vivian. Is that true? Yeah, that computes. But you know, not all poetry has to rhyme. Does this look like a pointing down hand? Um, no. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe we'll just have like a marker. You could just do like a triangle. Yeah, but then it like maybe okay. I'm just gonna I'm just I'm just gonna make a hand. It's not good. It's gonna look good. And it's not gonna look bad. Okay, I think you shouldn't put the finger in the middle. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And then we're going to do some shading because that's the thumb. And then it, we're not going to make it a glove. I think that's where we failed last time. I think you should make it a glove. Oh, but Richard, then it looks like a weird bird. <laughs> like a hand anymore <laughs> but you need like you need like the separation between the fingers you know uh, but i don't want to make it too big like you know you got those lines there chat does this look like a hand is it just richard is it just me <laughs> yeah chat does it look like a hand please tell us only we had a it reference does I accidentally hitting the heart buttons <sighs> Yes, add a topic to submit a question. That would work. Um, you know what, Richard? I'm going to just leave the hand because I can't. I can't do this anymore. We have too much potato to fry to be spending it all on the hand. I think I might actually just be like shorting it accidentally and getting these occasional harp sounds. Oh. I don't really know how I'm doing it. Oh, 
Okay, we gotta move it slower. It's too fast. Okay, and then so. Arturino says it looks like a hand, but it took them a while to figure out it was upside down. All right, chill out. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna make a function, and it's gonna be grab a marcher. We're gonna call it. We're going. Okay, we're gonna make a state. It's gonna. We're gonna make a variable, and it's gonna be state. And the state is going to be a string, and it's going to say what we're currently doing. And this current state will be edit if state equals edit. Edit. Okay, 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 okay. Then we're going to grab a marcher. Call that function there, even though. <laughs> I think uh, grabbing a marcher calls for a, a rhythm change. Yeah, it does. Let's go to rock two. Rock two might be my favorite. It also works really well with like the drone. Drone? Oh yeah. I think I like the um. swing one best. I'm gonna make two variables. That's where the hand is pointing at. And if the marcher is there, I'm going to just I'm going to make a I'm going to make a target spray. I'm going to make a target spray. Okay. Where the hand's point is. Okay, and then we're going to see if they overlap. To make a variable dragging this marcher. We're gonna set it to. That's not what well, I'm really looking forward to watching this stream after we're done and seeing how this music sounds over my microphone. <laughs> it's um it sounds good, I think. Um it sounds like music. Is it mad because I'm not returning everywhere? Would I have to return yeah. here? that happy no it has to return undefined oh no you uh, got you have to return something is it is it this trick that might work please work okay 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 and then we're gonna do on an a button Okay, okay, on game update, if the state equals edit, 
and we have a marcher that we're dragging. We're going to update it. Okay, we're going to we're going to take the the secret target code out and put it here because we always need a secret target. Marcher top. <laughs> Sound is good. On game update if state equals edit. Secret target not. Oh. Let's make secret target once. <laughs> and then just update its position. Yeah, I'll try and do music more often. I have some other music stuff that can also probably do some similar. Yeah, we were we were requested on live musics. So, okay. Secret targets. Oh, this should be bottom minus one. We were requested to do live music on stream, and I think this fulfills the promise. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. On A button pressed. Hmm. Shouldn't this be dragging? Let's see. You said state to edit, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. This is not working. Grab a marcher, set secret target point to hand point X, hand point Y. Maybe I'll just... If value overlaps with secret target, Return value, otherwise return undefined. Can you show me where you're making secret target? At the beginning. Hmm, that does look good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Prime code, I would say. I would say it's prime code. Wait. Oh, okay. No, they are a kind marcher. Hmm. Is it because it is ghost? A button press. Okay, this is still way too fast. 50. Okay, on side Arduino, I cannot possibly tap dance and play music at the same time. Richard, you just push the button and you put it down and then you back off and you tap dance. Easy peasy. No, I need to feel the music. So are you saying that your music is bad? Maybe. All right. Let's switch <laughs> up. Um, let's go to uh, Latin. I like this one. Yeah, I like swing best still. OK, this this something has to be wrong here. Dragging this marcher is a sprite, and its top is going to be the Y, and the X is going to be the X. Well, you know what? That seems like that seems good. OK, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to have it have that marcher say that they are the ones being selected. Wait, so can we see the target like in the game? Yeah, it's pink right now. I can't see it. Oh, yep, all right, I see it. It's a little bit offset, but that's okay. It should still work. It's not being selected. Okay, so. So the overlap probably isn't working. You're not setting any flags on the um, secret target or the... Um... <gasps> the marchers are ghosts! 
Is that why? Yes, that is why. No! This is so upsetting. I thought I was being efficient. Ah, okay. Well. Also, Unsigned Arduino called this out. Thank you, Unsigned Arduino. Thanks, Unsigned Arduino. Hi, me. <laughs> I me. <laughs> you are you. Okay. I, well. No, I me. Okay. Now let's add a save button. Yeah, let's make a vertical save button. By the way, for anyone wondering, the reason that we did that array get value at zero is because we wanted to get nothing, which is kind of a weird concept in blocks. That's why we don't have a block for it, though. Maybe we should. But um. In JavaScript, um, you know, sometimes you have something, sometimes you have nothing when you're talking about objects, and this is getting nothing. Yeah, there's a bug open for making it a block. Yeah, we could at least make an extension that has it. True. Like Rick Null slash undefined. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would use that. What's the best uh, way let's to get it? let's just let's get Joey to put it in um, Sprite Sprite Util. Util. Yeah. Yeah. Joey's not here today because he cares more about spending time with his family than he does with us. Yeah, wow, Joey. Probably not yeah. even watching the stream. It's what completely kind of, reasonable. What kind we of dedication wish. is this? It is reasonable. Sorry. Save. So I get a bit taller. Okay, and now I gotta blaze through the rest of this stream because I have half of it left. So you got a question. How can you yeah. get a link to a game without publishing it? Um, you can't, unfortunately. You need to publish it to get into link. Um, you can also download a file if you want. So if you click save, um, the little floppy disk icon at the bottom of the editor, you'll save a PNG. Um, and you can share that also, but um, that'll get it so it won't be published, but it will, um, someone will still, if they have that PNG, be able to load it. So, you know, just keep that in mind. This is a good button. I like it. Thank you. Orange and black was my school's colors. Really? So, you yeah. giraffes? Um, I think they just liked being tigers. We weren't even tigers. Oh, tigers is the much more obvious animal to go to. For that. We weren't. We weren't. <laughs> but you know, it would have been cool. Our our school mascot was a plane. That's better than mine. What was yours? Um. So I lived in a town that had a meat packing plant. Uh huh. Um, so our mascot was was um, a boar, a pig. Oh, at least you know you you could have a a, a pig mascot like like a person pre pretending to be it, right? Yeah, it was officially a pig, but we couldn't get any pig because they don't make. It turns out they don't make costumes and stuff. Like all the people who make merchandise for schools, yeah, yeah. they don't make pigs. They only make boars. So we would have like a bunch of things that were boars, but we're like, no, we're the pig. <laughs> What's the difference between a boar and a pig? I guess that's my question. When I, when I hear pig, I think pink and curly tail, right? When I hear boar, I think of, you know, a thing with tusks in the forest. Ah, I see, I see. So boars are cooler, but boars pigs are, are cuter. Cooler. That's why they don't make things for <laughs> boar or pigs, right? They only make them for boars because boars are cooler. Yeah, makes sense. Is this where the save button should go? Well, um, that's where it's going. <laughs> I would put it on the right side, but... On the right side? Sure, sure, that's easy. So that's 160 minus 4, 156. That's a, that's what we call easy math. Well, you also want to account for the width of the thing. Mm hmm? Oh, no, you're good. Never mind. Yay. Okay, now... What? Okay, now on when we save... Okay, drag in this member. How should we click the save button? Should it also be in here? Um. Yeah, sure. Okay. Why not? Okay, okay, okay. So. So I think maybe before you do that dragging the this marcher thing, like check for the save thing, and then it, and then put the dragging this marcher in the else. You know. Okay. Okay. Click save button. It will save it, but also return turn a boolean. What are you doing here? Get out of here. Okay. So if it overlaps with the secret target, 
You could just return the overlaps. But I also want to do the saving in here. Oh, okay. Yeah, a twofer. Um, secret target, overlaps with save button. Whatever, we, we're going to do our saving here. But then we're also, okay, let's just do the return first. And then we're going to call our function save frame. Update frame? Maybe it'll be an update framing function. And then let's, let's, oh, let's set our state. And then it's gonna be a string and it's gonna be like frames. What should it be called? Frames. Oh, wait, let's make another button that's play button. We're not even gonna hook it up yet, but it's gonna be there to save space. Oh my gosh, we could even, okay, check this out for high efficiency. I'm checking it out. Huh? Right? Okay, okay. I like where it's going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then let's see, can we use it? I guess I deleted the VR. That's it, that's, that's all. Wait, that's not where that goes. Yeah, guys, if you didn't know, we're, we're, we're a stream about coding, high efficiency, truth telling, animals, and live music. Oh, yeah, live music. Nice. We added a new one. We probably should be more careful about how we add those those new ones, you know? Um, yeah, I guess. Are we ever going to deprecate any of them? It's a good question. Probably. I mean, we deprecated Tarfax, kind of. I said tart facts. That's true. You've been keeping tart facts alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know you remember our efficiency now. So now, what is what is there for me to do? Let's see. One fifty. Deprecate. Antonio Arduino, how are you saying deprecate? Um, Antonio Arduino, that's depreciate, which is also a word, but is different. Deprecate. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's no I in deprecate. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Update frame. It's like you take a when you take a used car off the lot, it depreciates in value. <laughs> and then when you have an API you don't use anymore, you deprecate it. Okay. Now we're going to do the real juicy thing. And we're going to save have the current frame we're editing. Maybe oh, do you think we should bring in block objects? Because we're going to have arrays? Yeah, you could if you want. Well, so you're going to, are you going to store an array on every one though? On every Yeah, guy? because, because I want each person to have their own path, you know, if you move. Them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah then yeah, yeah, you should use block objects for that. Or you, All could, right. you yeah. could use sprite data and just do, you know, like one, two, three, and then do, do a string join. No, let's do arrays. Let's do arrays. Okay. okay. It's going to be arcade block object. Microsoft. No! Microsoft. Hmm. Block objects? Okay, that's fine. Yeah. How is this country? I mean, granted, I don't listen to country music, but if you do listen to country music, please tell me if this is a standard country rhythm. All right, I'm switching to disco. Oh, this one jams. Oh, yeah. I'm super distracted. <laughs> okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, I'm going to make... Okay, we did math on this, and this has two extra ones for a border of white. And for... Yeah, border of white. Let's fill this in with green to look like a marching band. Okay. And then for every marcher on the field, we're going to add a black pixel to it. Easy peasy. Okay. So we're just taking this forb. Just taking this forb. We're 
bring it here. And then we're going to set a pixel. Okay, let's make an array and it's going to be a frames. Uh, new variable. Frames. And it's going to be... Thumbnail. Is this one unseated rock two is my favorite? I don't think so. What? I'm trying to decide if this one is better than rock two, this rhythm. All right, now here's rock two. No, rock two wins. Rock two is dope. Rock two is really good. The other one you would think you would like because it has an interesting rhythm. The other one just grooves. What was it called again? Current frame. It's called frames. And then we're going to get it at current frame. Unsigned Arduino suggests that we should charge a quarter every time we get the extension URLs wrong. No! Like good idea because that'll catch Shannon and... Um, it'll catch Shannon more often. But won't know? it catch us too? It'll definitely catch me. Yeah. Okay, but like if we make the decision now, and then you and I are just vigilant about it. Mm. We just don't even tell Shannon. Okay, but then what do we say when, like she'll get her once maybe, and then we deprecate the rule, depreciate, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. But you know, don't you want a puppy? I do want a puppy, but we need to find something that you and I do that Shannon doesn't do. That's and true. I don't think this is the right call. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we have to do, do some math. math poorly. Shannon does math okay. well. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, you're right. You should swap it. <laughs> yeah. If you do math well, we're gonna punish you. All right, we gotta vote for Rock Two. Yeah, Rock Two is the best, I think. The By best. the way, these things I'm reading off of these little buttons. I don't know if I'm holding this up to my camera correctly. There we go. We got some rhythm buttons, and it's got like. Uh, Sorry, I'm watching the stream version of my camera, so I'm like Why? delayed. Richard, um, play swing again. I, I feel like we need some more swing representation. All right, I'm gonna play swing. Thank you. But yeah, so I have all these preset rhythms. There are 10 of them. Okay, I almost didn't call my function, but I'm not going to forget. Okay, and let's just do an on-game update every 500 milliseconds. If the current state is added, we'll just call update frame. This is swing, right? Yeah. So so nice, so happy, very nice. It's very happy, and like I get that, but like I don't know, it's too happy, you know? I'm I'm dark. Wow. wow. Um, update frame. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> They're all on top. That's, That's cute. So cool. That's great. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> okay, okay. Easy peasy. Okay. When we save the button, we need to add to the person's move where they are so they know. Okay, so we're gonna give them an array. Okay, we're gonna give them all objects when we create them. Block object. Okay, store. And it's gonna be marcher and we're gonna give them a new object. Yep, yep, yep. And then... Do I have to initialize number array to be like an array of nothing before I use it? Yeah. Okay, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Let's I go back. Change that. Hmm. Really? Maybe. 
shouldn't it be good to be like you know responsible and be like i know all the things that are being made i don't know yeah i, I need to do something to this extension if anyone has any ideas of what i should do to make this extension less ugly i um would like to hear them because i don't like it i don't like how it is very much yeah i was very scared of it at first but now i know what it's about and i'm not scared anymore yeah, I think maybe I can um, just uh, make it make the blocks a little shorter, and then I was thinking maybe of just getting rid of the objects altogether and just making it take in a sprite. Oh, I like that because that's how we use it anyway. Like sometimes we use yeah an object we, in general. Very rarely do we do very that though. Very rarely. So I'll leave there. I'll make it so that you can still put an object in there, and that'll still be a create object. But you can also just put in a sprite. It'll be like an either or thing, you know. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Okay, now here's another question. If I want to set a value... Oh, I can't just set the number in the number array. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm just going to do it in one long block. <laughs> set value at... Oh, I can't do that. Okay, okay. I'm going to make a new variable. It's going to be temp, ar temp array. What object is it gonna be? It's gonna be get block object on this one. And then this is, oh man. Okay, set value at, and this is gonna be the frame we're on. Current frame to be the person's X. No. He's going here. Okay. And then we're going to set it back on the block object. And we're going to do the same for the Y's. Not gonna mess up copying and pasting. No, sir. Now, Onset Arduino is suggesting that every time the, the type checker gets mad at us, we should charge a penny. Ooh, penny. Oh, penny is a good call, I think. I like that idea. I feel like the, the problem with that one is just gonna be us keeping track of it because it happens so many times per stream. Yeah, 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 yeah. True, true, true. Okay. Um, but I like the idea of penny for like a smaller penny. But we also we want to make sure penny t penalty penalty. We can workshop that a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll we'll definitely workshop that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So now we have this, and then what's left? All we have to do is have add more arrays. Okay, so I'm going to add some like little arrow buttons here so we can like loop for all the arrays. Well, how do you how do you think we should indicate that there's more frames that we can't see? Good question. Um, I don't think it's important. Let's just not even worry about it right now. Okay, okay, okay. Let's make a button. It's gonna be a giant play. Add new button.
we need to reposition all the okay okay we need to be able to select oh man okay so then we need to be able to select the different frames to edit <laughs> um, sooner or later, Vivian's gonna want to make a video editor in arcade. Yep, it's going. It's get, we're getting there. <laughs> Is this not a video editor already? Just you know, it, all the only video. Kind of, but I can't wait to see the little marcher guys walk from their current position to their next one. You know. Yeah, yeah. I'm super excited. Okay, okay, okay. So then, when we push the save button, we're gonna say currently selected frame to be the frame. Okay, 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 okay. Make a variable. Currently selected frame. Frames get value at our variable. Current frame. That's confusing. Let's rename. <laughs> rename current frame number. Can I put a pound sign? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, you can put a pound sign. Thank goodness. Okay. And then on a game update, else if state is equal to, what did I call it? Frame? Yeah. Okay, frame. Then we're gonna give that thing an outline. How am I gonna make an outline? I'm gonna make an outline sprite. Oh. You, or you can just replace white with the other color. <gasps> Good call, Richard. Whoa. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Change color. And... Let's make a function. Set selected frame. It's going to be, wait, no, new frame number. You know, next time we do this, I'm going to get a reverb pedal. This thing would sound really good with some reverb. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Okay, and if, I have 13 oh, minutes, so much time. Okay. Currently selected frame. There but it would, take, it would take too much time for me to set this up. Um, do it. <laughs> How much time? Um, the end of stream? Can you do it before stream ends? Yeah, right, I'll try. Woo! Okay, what color should be a selected indicator? Yellow is not a good. Okay, let's do red. Back to white. Hey, on cord stick. Don't fall down. What did he say? I don't know. Okay, and then we're going to set currently selected frame to be. Okay, and then we also need to do something. We need a currently selected frame and the current frame number because we are doing both. I guess we could add a sprite data to it, but that's fine. And then what am I doing? Currently selected frame. I need to get that from my arrays, get value at. I need to be productive <laughs> while Richard's gone. I'm still here. Oh, but you know, the music was quieter so I can think faster. Okay, 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 okay. What am I doing? I got distracted. It. Okay, 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 okay. Current frame number to the, and then we need to change the color to be the other way around from white to red. Okay. That was not a quarter. I was not confused. I didn't expect it to work. I was just going to be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> That was not a quarter. Yeah, I agree with the games coming along. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, okay, left button press. We're going to set selected frame um, by current number minus one. We'll do like the error checking instead of the function. number minus one all right let's see how this goes excellent wow that's so fast yeah it took less time than i thought <gasps> this sounds so good it sounds like i'm at like a fair like a state fair or something you know 
Yeah. I'm gonna mess with the volume. This sounds much better than the speaker that comes with this thing also. <laughs> Bass is really nice. Yeah, I'm sure my neighbors don't love it. <laughs> Bigger than equal to, and also we have to make sure it's in bounds. That's what I'm doing. And new frame number is less than the length of the array. All right, I gotta switch to rock too now. I'm sorry. All right, all right. No, that's fine. That's fine. Your frames. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now it will work. No, no, no. We got to add. Okay, we got to hook up the add button now. Okay, let's see. Can you can you still hear like all of the the rhythm and stuff? A little bit. It's mostly just the droning. All right, let me um mess with it. Better? Yes. <laughs> I never called, I aggressively never called this click save function. Um, that, that is, that is, that, that is definitely a quarter. Is that five quarters? I didn't call it for so long. <laughs> it's just one quarter. <laughs> but I didn't call it for so long. Okay, 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 okay. I don't even know what the save function does anymore at this point, let's be honest. Uh, it just it's just doing secret stuff. Okay. This thing sounds really good when it's coming out a nice speaker. I don't know if it's coming over well though because my speaker is on the ground and my microphone's on the desk. Yeah, maybe not. It just sounds like it just sounds chill, you know. But it also, does sound very chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, then it sounds great. I love it. <laughs> Let's make another function. Click. Add button. Okay, now we have to make sure that it's overlapping the add button. What am I, where's my, where's my other click button function? Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna do, wait, no, we're gonna do a Daryl. Click save button, click add button. These are the two I want. This is the if that I wanted. Okay. If secret target overlaps with the add new frame button, then we're going to push, push, a new one. Add value to the end, and it's gonna be okay. We're gonna make a new sprite, and it's gonna just be thumbnail, and it's going to be that blank image. Okay, and it's gonna be of the right kind, and then we're gonna add it to the end. Easy peasy. Okay, and then we're gonna set the current one to this one. Yes, we're gonna call my function. Set selected frame to be the length minus one. Okay, when we do Marching Band Simulator Part 2, I'll get like a proper setup with a, going into a sound card and everything. It will sound yes. good. Yes, okay, 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 okay. I just need to make this, I just need to be able to see a new frame. Oh, I gotta position it. That's the problem, we're not. No, that's not the problem, but that's one of the problems. Okay, let's position it. What would be a proper setup? Um, so I'd probably put it through a sound card. Well, um, 
like an audio interface with a microphone, like uh -huh. this guy. Um, and then I would hook it up as an audio device, use that as my microphone. And then I would also speak oh through a microphone that I would hook up. Um, Whoa. And then um, you'll be hearing the sound directly and not just out of a speaker that's playing by my feet to a microphone that is on my desk. Nice, nice, nice. OK. OK. Sorry, I feel like I'm, what's overclocking, Richard? Overclocking is when you um, take a, well, see, like processors are made to run at a certain speed. Uh -huh. And overclocking is when you take that speed and you go higher than it's supposed to go. And usually they that they have that limit so that they don't get too hot. So with overclocking, usually you'll put in some like extra cooling so that it can handle that higher speed, but it'll end up being, you know, faster and do more stuff per second. I see. That's definitely not what's that. What's that? What, okay. What, what about like when your computer's out of memory? Okay. I feel like I'm a computer out of memory. <laughs> well, we're kind of at the end of the time. Oh, this is perfect. If I want to get into like a workable state, because otherwise I'm really going to be reluctant to open this up again. Okay, okay, okay. Even okay. with the promise of music. Oh, the promise of music is really good. <laughs> okay, I'm, I just I just need to get this here while everything's still fresh in my mind, because I know next time I open this up, I'm going like, to be like, why are there so many variables? I hate this project. Which is what? Okay, 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 let's save it. And then I should be able to click the plus button. It doesn't work. Ah, secret, so the secret sprite is not updating. Hmm. I should not oh. be able to control the thumb anymore. I think it only updates when you're in edit mode. So did yeah, you it? yeah, sorry, sorry, yeah. But then I think we need to get rid of the hand altogether when we're not in animo. But just just for the meantime, let's just do this just to get it to work. Hand point left. See, see what I'm talking about? Ba ba da, ba da, ba da, ba da. Okay, click add button. If secret target emphasis is there, okay, click add button. And when we call that, we call that on a button pressed. Click the add button, overlaps with add new frame button. Then thumbnail. Thumbnail left, we position it, add it to the end, frames, and then selected frame. Okay, wait. First off the bat, we're not even selecting the original frame, even though I even though I called my function. So what's up with that? We'll figure that out. Select for frame equals zero. Collapse block. Let's set select frame. Select frame. New frame number. It doesn't work. It's in the update. <laughs> Wait, is it in the update? Collapse. It's in this update. Yes. Okay. Um, yes. Yes. Okay. 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 Let's make another right. function. Yeah. Vivian's also had basically no help today from me because I've been too distracted playing with my little music thing. So this has been a very good Vivian stream. Yes, it has. Even though I haven't explained anything, but that's fine. You know, are we here for the music or are we here for the coding? Um, we're here for the music, obviously. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's two o'clock. I'm just okay. I just need Richard. You have a two o'clock. I just need to set the color. That's all I no, need. No, I don't have anything. I'm, I'm good to go. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, let's just set currently. <laughs> Yeah, the reason that we do this stream in groups is one, because, you know, we like doing it together. 
but two, because it's really hard to code on your own without mi missing mistakes, and it's way easier when someone else is staring at it. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> but I will. I will say that I've dedicated a hundred percent of my brain to coding instead of any banter today. So, okay, we're gonna highlight frame. Highlight frame. Update frame. What's an update frame? Oh, we'll call it here. Update highlight frame. And it's gonna be currently selected frame. And it's gonna work. It's gonna be red. Yes, it is. It's gonna work. Do I need to press the play button? Oh no. <laughs> I really hope my neighbors don't hate me after this. Um. Oh, this needs to be a number. Ugh. I even put a number symbol in the variable. Okay, it's gonna work. Okay, <laughs> that's been our stream today. Uh, hope you enjoyed our music. I hope you learned things about po pol pol polkas and rock and country music and then um you're excited about marching band so my name is vivian i am at live cheerful on the make code forums i was hoping those buttons would work even though they've never worked before sorry vivian live cheerful yeah i'm richard i'm richard on the make code forum and this has been the omnicord <laughs> not on the make code forum we should make the omnicord we and make the Omnicord account, and we'll do like a little pixel art Omnicord. <laughs> yeah, um, it won't have much to provide to as the discussions, but maybe it'll be an expert in music things. But All of its comments will just be bleep or boop. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay, I guess we'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>